Hello. So I redid um, redid the thing. So this is wider now than it was previously. Um, I also added the DC voltage apply to bias the ribbon a little bit, see if that does anything. If you got a good method to put a DC voltage on this ribbon without destroying your amplifier, um, I use something that I used before, but I'm I'm still not clear if it's not screwing on my amp. I don't want to blow up my <coughs> pipex. Um, so there is power coming from here through a resistor. Then it's attached to the uh, to the uh, ribbon. Then a cap, and then the input signal from the amplifier. The other side of the amplifier is just connected straight to the ribbon. Uh, with the, in this case, positive lead, but I don't think it matters, directly to the ribbon. Hmm. So I loosened up the ribbon a little bit, so we should be able to tension it uh, by DC bias a little bit outwards, so it curves more a little bit. At, at least that's the idea. Um, yeah. Most of the power, or at least a part of the power, is burned in the resistor, I think, because it becomes a little bit warm, not hot. But I'm also not using tens of watts, of course. It, it just needs, needs a little bit. Um, so yeah, let's see what it does. So measurement, measurement mics around roughly one and a half meters away. Uh, there's still resonance near 500 hertz. It's usually with these kind of ribbons, I mean, I don't know what dictates that. Maybe the amount of surface area and the width. Because with this width, it's always around 500, 600 becomes sounding weird. Uh, if you make it longer, it still sounds weird there, but it's less weirdness compared to what uh, sounds good. So distortion goes down, but it's still there. So. Let me... First measure it without bias, then I'll show you the bias, because it's fun. Uh, it's crossed at too low, I believe, 550, but that's okay, because then we hear the resonance as well. So this is our measurement for now. Um, do I use gating? I mean, there's stuff everywhere, so I'm not sure if it makes any sense, but I'll just smooth it, see what it does. So it is smooth, it doesn't look terrible, by the way. <clears throat> I'll take you over. I made some more measurements of distance and height. Maybe I'll add them, maybe I'm, I'm not adding them. Because now things might have changed. So I'm going to add some voltage. We should be able to see it move. Did you see it or did you miss it? I cannot tell. If I add more, the ribbon wants to slide to one side. So apparently, uh, if I'll use something like this, you need to control sideway movement a little bit every here and there. Because if the ribbon is not exactly in the middle, it wants to go to one of the magnets. <coughs> By the looks of it. You can see it here, down here. So at the bottom, if I'll up this even more, whoop, it goes to the right. So now I'm going to find the resonance and see the resonance of it hitting the, the aluminium pipes, I think. You can hit 
hear a tone with some crap mixed in there. Now I'm gonna bias it. And it's gone. So now there's one lower, which makes sense because excursion becomes bigger. See if we can get rid of this. Almost, but it tends to move to the magnet now. Need to control that some way. I think it's mounted a little bit like this. Okay. So far the amplifier still works. That's good. <laughs> good news. Now, um, I'll disable the power supply. Now we're gonna take a measurement at one and a half meter because we were wondering, at least I was wondering, maybe you were not at all wondering, maybe you didn't care at all. Um, what does curvitation does? Because this supposed to be a perfect curve. Uh, mine was like segmented in eight parts uh, by the rods and then made a, a, a curve or at least a angle and then proceed it straight. Now we can bilge out the rim and so make it more round than it is right now. <coughs> See if that else does something. Mm. So I did make the measurement already without the bias, so I don't have to do that actually. I'll leave it biased and we do the measurement again. Um, whoop de do. But what you can see, and I'll make the color different because this is quite an annoying color. So purple, so we're zoomed in quite a lot. This is a scale, it, well it's not even that much. But you can see that the top end extends better if you make it more round. And of course this is just a one meter height and 150 distance. But it might, might be even sev more severe uh, at different um, heights as well. Uh, distortion wise, non-biased distortion is higher up because it's rubbing I guess against the supports and yeah and with bias it's it's lower probably because the resonance dropped as well and we <coughs> removed the rubbing of the ribbon so yeah overall quite funny uh, by biasing it uh, it moves forward as well so it it moved actually a little bit out of the best magnetic field so that's a downside you have to like take that into account which I did not for this design uh, but yeah so if I maybe I could cross it here or something but let's do a walk task test once more and I did also measurements at different distances so we can see if it falls off 6 dB or 3 dB. Uh, I'll make a separate video for that because I'm gonna use uh, some music which uh, you know got me demonetized instantly. So see you back in a few minutes maybe. <laughs> 